So we're told not to shoot at this vessel because it's part of the Abyssal clan of the Xerax, but they've said that it's an ambassador and he wishes, I guess, wishes to speak with us. Please do not touch anything. You're not going to uh, go a bit ape shit on me, are you? So this is our, our contact within the Xerax Empire, pretty high ranking spy. And they're going to help me break my comrades out of the Xerax facility. But in the meantime, I've got to do some errands because I'm the galaxy's best errand boy. So there's growing unrest amongst the Xerax Empire, that's why that person is, is he helping me. And this appears to be a legacy infested facility. This is where the uh, void thingy came from, whatever you want to call it. So let's clear this out. That is a tiny little scorpion. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I prefer them when they're bigger. Yeah, 100% prefer them bigger. That's better. That's a that's a uh, enemy I can get behind. Uh, of course. Secret chest. Nice. <sighs> Find artifacts. Oh, I guess I should probably be looting then. Well, I'm back to the ambassador. So I guess we're going to have to quickly go back. Uh, 
I love switching levers. Just bog standard loot. Right, I've searched all round this base. Cannot seem to find a code. But I just had a look at this message. And it's saying something about flipping that switch and then also flipping one back at the camp. And then that will give us power to the bit round the back. So if we go around here, I've I tried to mine my way in, as you can see. Um, but this passage, that's a little passage there. Sneaky, sneaky passage, and then this is the back door. And then once this has power, maybe we'll be able to get in there. So yeah, I don't really know. I don't really know where this switch is. I can't seem to find it. So, I mean, both of those, the only two switches I've now found are both turned on. Now, if we go around here... We still have no power in here. I pre presume that symbol means no power. I don't really know why we need power because there's still an absence of a lock code. I mean, there's a possibility that I got given the lock code earlier on in the text and I just can't find it. Or I can't remember it, didn't read it. But what we're going to do is, because I really can't be bothered, is just going to god mode through that door. And again through that one. But this is supposedly the counterpart facility to the one on the planetary remnant. We've got a list of all of the planets that have been lost to the legacy. And there's quite a lot of them. And on the side here we've just got information about the legacy. So I forgot to press record, like a dumbass, got back to the Ambassador, just completed the mission, and now we're on to part 9, where our base is under attack. So we have flown back to Rakashi Beta. I believe we need to head back to our base in the Asteroid Belt. So we've got a traitor in our midst, and we're not supposed to tell Mercer about it. Yo, what's up? Little snake. Sus. Sus Mercer. So there's clearly some backstabbing and betrayal going on. Young Mercer clearly takes after his father and, like old Mercer, is trying to, trying to snake us all about. Oh, you want me to get in the shower with you? Is that it? So 
So, by the sounds of it, they've got some old uh, legacy knocking about. In one of the containers down here. That ensign was infected. <laughs> That's quite amusing because it, it obviously is the same setup, so that container happens to have the root beer formula in it. They've just copied and pasted the entire POI across. So yeah, clearly these containers are full of infected, uh, it's just full of legacy samples. Not entirely sure why, because they were talking about Project Eden, which is the project to start up a new, a new Earth, essentially. So I'm not entirely sure where the legacy comes into play in that respect. But I'm sure we'll find out. Comms array have just exploded. Well, shit is hitting the fan. And although my suspicions are that obviously Mercer is somehow involved in this, I'm still going to go upstairs and save him by the sounds of it. Whereas the rest of the crew are going to evac from the station. And now, for some reason, we have Xerox floating about. So we're going to purge the base, we're going to blow it up, and we're going to rally to the nearby rally point. Or they're going to let me know where the nearby rally point is. Xerax are attacking the base. Big, big coinky dink. That'll make station go boom. Where did I park my ship? Not even my ship anymore, the remains of my ship because it's just so much. So yeah, we didn't get given a rally point. All the traces. And the info is, is gone. Well, we found it. It's called Basil That. No, it's not where we wanted to go. Seventy light years away. Which means we're going to have to do some hopping. We're going to have to go... Where are we currently? I think the max is 33. So that's probably just close enough. Oh! It's 
30, not 33. Let's go here. And then, I guess here. Yep, we make it there. Presumably, warp technology in this universe involves wormholes and not just FTL travel, because otherwise I'd have been cooked there. Finally, to our high security station.